Good day everyone! How are you so far? I guess you are all bored, but at the same time, ready to learn something new for today. Despite the bad news circulating on the internet or in the world today, like the coronavirus or COVID-19, I still managed to shoot this video for you guys and to present it to you. So, just stay at home, relax, and watch this full video for you to learn something new. So what are we waiting for? Let's get started! Teachers may sometimes feel overwhelmed by the multitude of resources available online. It might take a tremendous amount of time to sift through and locate required materials to use in class, which is a taxing task for the already overburdened teacher. To this end, and to help teachers make better use of their time, I will introduce to you the 10 educational sites and educational portals that one can use as a future educator or a future teacher. But before diving deep into it, let's have first, what is the definition of an educational site and an educational portal? Educational sites, specifically, are websites that have games, videos, or topic-related resources that act as tools to enhance learning and supplement teaching. These sites will help make the process of learning entertaining and attractive to the student, especially in today's age. While an educational portal is a specially designed website that provides a host of educational services, the term portal was historically used to describe a port or location of multiple loading and offloading activities. It is now used most widely to describe a multifunction website that includes public and private sections, data retrieval and submission tools, personalized content, and often links or connections to education-related systems or services. So, we have now learned about the definition or meaning of an educational site and portal. So, these two are just likely related with each other, so I came up with using only 10 of it. So, let's have the countdown of the 10 educational sites and portal. Let's begin with number one. ReadWriteThink.com ReadWriteThink.com is a website that provides educators with access to high quality lessons in reading and language arts instruction by offering the very best in free materials. For each lesson, you can see the Common Core and NCTE standards or the National Council of Teachers of English standards addressed as well as how the long lesson takes to implement. Every assignment is broken into pieces of a theory of practice, rational with resources and preparation section, an instructional plan, and a link to related resources. Number 2. Scholastic Scholastic offers a treasure trove of free resources for teachers, especially those who teach K-8 or kindergarten to grade 8. Scholastic has outstanding lessons that are all linked to relevant standards, and their lessons built around holidays and current events are especially compelling. Additionally, the site features planning guides, graphic organizers, interactive computer lab, and whiteboard activities, and many more. Number 3. BrainPop BrainPop is an essential engagement tool site that allows both students and teachers to be involved in the learning process. It has the varieties of supporting material. If you are searching for concept map tool, activity sheets, quizzes, and even game up, there they have to provide students with additional ways to connect to the concept you introduced them. Number 4. ESLprintables.com it is a free file exchange website where teachers can view and download hundreds of high-quality printable worksheets, powerful lessons, and ESL lesson plans. Since it's an exchange site, users are required to contribute in order to reap the rewards of using materials designed by other teachers. Number 5. Instagrock.com Instagrock is an innovative educational search engine, sophisticated semantic technology with an interactive user interface to make learning more engaging, personalized, and more fun for everyone. Their mission is to help everyone discover the joy of learning and empower them to be lifelong learners. Instagrock.com 
Number 6. GitHub.com It's a Git repository hosting service, but it adds many of its own features. It provides access control and several collaboration features such as wikis and basic tool management for every project. Team members can work on files and easily merge their changes in with the master branch of the project. Number 7. Udemy Udemy is an online learning platform aimed at professional adults and students, developed in May 2010. As of January 2020, the platform has more than 15 million students and 57 instructors teaching courses in over 65 languages. There have been over 295 million courses enrollments. Udemy has also over 5,000 enterprise customers and 80% of Fortune 100 companies use Udemy for employees upskilling. Number 8. Storybird Storybird is a great learner-based online tool for readers and writers. For example, picture books provide stunning images and stories based on authors' creativity. Students can design picture books on their own or work in teams to create visually appealing representations of their knowledge. Number 9. Literacy Shed Literacy Shed is a site intended for use by teachers to use with the children in the class where they find the films relevant and suitable. Many of the films on the site are student short films, so have not been clarified by the BFI, etc. So teachers should watch films and use those that they deem appropriate for the students in their care. Number 10. ClassDojo.com ClassDojo is a school communication platform that teachers, students, and families use every day to build close-knit communities by sharing what's being learned in a classroom through photos, videos, and messages. So that were the 10 educational sites and portals that one can use as a future educator and teacher. So right now, I will have to choose which of the 10 educational websites and portals should I use for the tutorial. So I've chosen www.classdojo.com. So let's start with the tutorial. First, go to the Google search and type for classdojo.com. Sign up and follow the details on the video. Fill in the needed information like your name, your last name, email, password. After that, for the easiest way to also make an account for Class Dojo, go to the Play Store to log in also. Click Play Store and then open Class Dojo. And after that, you need to click I'm a teacher because we are a future teacher. We're assuming that we are a future teacher and then I have an account and then log in. After logging in, you will see the Class Dojo interface the demo class and the new class. So, because it's a sample, we need to click for the demo class. Just like this. So you also have you join your school. So first, let's have the demo class. In the demo class, you will see your assumed students, just like Beyonce. Also here, you can also add or edit your students. You can add Ariana Grande, for example. Also, demo class, stories just like Facebook or Messenger. So you can also invite Ariana Grande's parents for them to be able to know the child, the child's progress. So that's it. And also we have here so many resources to search for. You can also join your school, for example, Bohol Island State University. So just like that. So that's it guys. That's just easy.